the correct play to make. Perryman wide to Koenig's talking it early. Jump and he's pulled oh, it down. That'll hurt. Unbelievable. He oh, might right. not get up from that. Stock is remarkably concerned as you think. Oh, be good, be good. Yeah, head on. Oh, he's there. even need himself in the face. It's a sickening head. Yeah. At least he's holding his own head. He's, he's got his wits about him, so the lights are not out. So that's that's a positive. He's chatting with the doctor. Waiting back the other way in space, waiting for yeah. the first ball. They're, just, they're too tired to work both oh, ways. Robbie Grace had his knee. Oh, he's in pain. That looks awfully like Luke Ball looked seven days ago. He's in a lot more pain than Luke Ball. Oh, oh. yeah. A, could be a broken leg. Boy, does that look bad. Did he dislocate his knee, did he, Jared? Looks to me just like he hyperextended. Oh, oh, that's good. Gee. Not... And he is critical to their chances of fighting their way up the ladder in 2012. Robbie Gray. He's a hamstring problems in the first couple of weeks this year in fact he played just 11 games last year Robbie Gray due to he blew that chance it gets all the way through it was a touch did anyone touch it I think the answer is no Jace we just saw Heath Shaw Heath Shaw just ran down there just to give him a little tap on the head just yep. to see how he was and um Obviously an old Collingwood legend as well, Heathy Shaw. So that ball away in time, but not cleanly. Phillips coming back the other way. Rovat, Brown, slow. Grundy got him. Gee, he might have gone head first into the ground here as well. Grundy. And Ben okay. Brown is very slow. Well, not slow to get up. He has not got up. Oh, he's in real trouble here. He's in real trouble, and that's a poor call by the umpire. Given what we just saw a moment ago, Sure, the tackle was fair enough, but clearly his head went into the ground and went into the ground very hard. Watch it again. So good tackle, Grundy. Good awareness. Then into the ground. Oh, that hurts. Again, no malice in that from Grundy. Just a big man trying to take another big man down. We know it takes some force to do it. But the net result was the head into the ground and the head into the ground hard. And when the arms are pinned, you're in a very vulnerable position. We, and that, that's what it is now, isn't it? Yeah. Certainly put pressure on his teammate, pilot, Robbie oh, Ball. Oh, and take oh, it he goes hard on Conker. Now, is Conker OK? He hasn't moved. It's going to be interesting to see. Both saw. Conker doesn't look good at all. Looked like Lobie spun out. Saw with the shoulder as well. But this is a hard contact. That's a head oh, clash. A head now. clash, yeah. That is a head clash. Oh, no. yeah, they're going to call for the stretcher here. That's That's yeah, nasty. He looks like he's out. Yeah. Yeah. He's conquer. So Nathan Foley can come on whilst they assess him. So a stretcher's been called for, but in good uh, good hands. They've got the best medical people involved here that will take every precaution. And we hope it's nothing other than a concussion. Over 50. Taylor's done a good job. Gets to the contest. Well, how about that? There's carnage and spillage everywhere. Brown appears the worst off. He always comes back oh. to the foot. He elbowed to the head. From, Unbelievable uh, courage. Remember, remember all the work done on his face yeah. after the free medal game in round one this year. He's just got unbelievable courage. That ability just to run back. One did it, but the way they're holding yeah. him. He doesn't look in, in pain. Well, it's obviously hope for the best for Isaac Quayne, a young man who... Showed a bit last year and, and this year, in particular, it's his fifth game for the season. Maybe get together and try and work out how, right. how to take it from here. We've got the experience of Jeff Brown down there. We'll make sure that he's well looked after in this instance. So as it stands, the Giants will be out of the eight. We've got Geelong next week and then Richmond who got beaten today the week after and they finish with Carlton Port Adelaide on the other hand back to that fourth right fourth position outright the Swans are breathing down their neck but they would have been happy with the result out of Tasmania it puts a, a two gap game between themselves and the Lions today Swans are the threat aren't they really they are they now are form team and Adelaide that... how do we shut the game down we've got a really good lead 21 points. Let's get control of the footy. 
and for the Giants, we, we've got to start to take the game on. We've got to start to, to, to really roll the dice a little bit when we, we're in possession. So they're the conversations that the players would have been having when they came in. So fingers crossed, best wishes with Jacob Hopper for his family. It's always tough not knowing that his teammates getting over to him. You can see there, with Josh Kelly. Do doctors, club doctors have great relationships with players, families, so you can bet someone's already on the phone to, to Jacob Hopper's family. Already without Phil Davis for the rest of the game. Dylan Addison plays a big role in that from the Giants' point of view. It really is accentuated the silence, isn't it? It has. Yeah, it's so weird. Um, yeah, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it is. Josh Kelly goes over again. Is clear now. Giants have equalised. Uh, basically, is in the first ruck. So he'll be tested out as Cripps goes wide out to Judd. Have they just got the running capacity to go with this super? He's hurt himself. He's hurt his knee there. Knee or ankle is gone down his well, knee. As soon as he landed, he hurt something badly. It's his left knee, boys. He's in real trouble here. Yeah. Uh, the superstar of the competition for the last decade and a bit, Chris Judd. In a lot of pain. Let's have a look at this. Just as he land. lands. Goes up. Oh, that knee gone in, has it? Yeah, yeah. looks like it. Yeah. So two of the absolute superstars of the competition, Dangerfield and Judd. Just saw it there that last second when it turned inside. Over the medial jump. Yeah, just watch this, guys. The plants, the body goes, and then there. So Chris Judd. If ever there was a standing ovation from two sets of supporters, and the player deserves it's this man, and the Adelaide Pro supporters stand as one with their Carlton comrades and give a round of applause to this man coming from the field. He's in great form today, Chris Chad. Tough to cut for John Barker. We just I'm surprised they haven't got the stretcher well, out it's either the stretcher or Carlton have to slow no, down. No, no, they're going to stop this. Well, the players stopped the play now. They've got to stop the play. Carlton have got the mark on half forward. And yeah, the stretcher out so there. Call the stretcher. So that was good play in the end, but he's still in a, in a lot of pain in that uh, knee joint. So you get the feeling that crossed. he just doesn't want to be doesn't stretching off the ground. No, I mean, disadvantage is your team, though. Oh, absolutely. Too long you won't one short. He doesn't want to go on. But well, he, once he, they bring it on, you have to go on. I think, well, the there was a rule that you had to get on it, but now it's on. It's 20 minutes straight away. Yeah. So let's uh, talk about this man, Chris Jack, yeah, the superstar of the competition. It, it has probably been at various stages of his career, no better player in the history of the game when he was on. Well, I put him as the best player uh, really in the last decade. Uh, we are fortunate enough to play with a great one in Michael Voss when we were in the early 2000s. But this guy, I think the last decade's been number one for my daddy. He considered whether or not he went on this year for a long time. He decided to play on. If this is a serious injury, this could be the last time we see one of the greatest players in the history of our game. And you can see the despondency and the frustration of Chris Jagger. He doesn't need to be strapped down. He has to go off because of the rules on this. But let's hope it's not the case. No. But if it is, let's celebrate what has been a magnificent career for this man, Chris Judd. And a, a true show of sportsmanship today. The Adelaide Crows and the Carlton fans stand as one and celebrate this man, Chris Judd. Two